Welcome, I'm Nadim Kafarani, International Clinical Market Manager. I'm going to present you how to evaluate liver steatosis. Quantification of steatosis is possible using attenuation imaging, also called ATI. The fat that infiltrates the liver has the property of absorbing more ultrasound beam compared to normal liver tissue. This unique ATI technique, associated with real-time imaging, allows you to quantify this absorption difference and measure on a large sample a precise attenuation coefficient correlated at the level of steatosis. You can perform this acquisition in the same patient position required for the shear wave exam, supine and intercostal approach. You can therefore carry out two examinations without repositioning the patient. First, activate the subpreset steatosis for optimized settings. The image starts in dual mode with on the left the 2D reference image and on the right a color map displaying the different levels of attenuation. It is recommended to use a window size as large as possible. We can identify three colors in the window. Orange, this represents the capsule artifact. Dark blue, deep areas where the noise level is too important for a reliable measurement. Light blue, optimum area for liver tissue assessment. Then, look for a tissue area without large vessels. As soon as you freeze the image, the measurement row in yellow is automatically displayed. Place it just below the orange capsule artifact while avoiding dark blue areas. It is important to not include orange or dark blue in the measurement area. The result of attenuation coefficient is displayed continuously in decibel per centimeter per megahertz. Also ensure that the quality index, R square, is greater than 0.85 before keeping the measurement. This represents the attenuation profile uniformity. Confirm the measurement with the set key and repeat this protocol five times. As you can see, this exam is extremely fast and very easy. In less than two minutes, you can perform a non-invasive evaluation able to detect steatosis with precision or differentiate mild versus significant steatosis. ATI is today the first imaging technique to receive a clinical validation and can be used for steatosis staging and patient classification. Below 0.63, no steatosis at zero. Between 0.63 and 72, mild steatosis as one. Over 0.72, significant steatosis as two and severe steatosis as three. To have more details about these clinical results, I encourage you to get closer to your Canon medical representative in order he can present you these references. Thank you for your attention. <music>